New cars are safer than ever. It's just that some new cars are safer than others. And that's why I've come up with the CarWow Top 13 Least Safe New Cars You Can Buy Today. Now to compile this list, I've used crash test data from Euro NCAP. And they judge cars based on their adult occupant protection, their child protection, their pedestrian and cyclist protection, and their active safety systems, which are those systems which prevent you having an accident in the first place. And they use all of that to come up with their overall star rating. However, I haven't ranked the cars based on their star rating. Instead, I've just looked at one key area, which is adult occupant protection. Because after all, you're gonna be driving the car most of the time on your own, or maybe with a front seat passenger. So I think that matters most. And I've ranked the cars according to that. Now, all the cars that are in this list were tested in 2018 or 2019, and they are all on sale in the UK today. So, without further ado, strap yourself in and get ready for the CarWow Top 13 Least Safe New Cars You Can Buy Today. The 13th Least Safe New Car as tested by Euro NCAP in 2018 and 2019, which is on sale in the UK, is the Citroen C5 Aircross. Now, this is actually a very safe car. So, it scored 89% in adult occupant protection, which is good, and it also got an overall rating of a full five stars. However, your NCAPS testers did note that in a frontal impact, it doesn't give you that much protection for your shins. At number 12 is the Volkswagen Chiran and Seat Alhambra, because they're effectively the same car. Now, just like the C5 Aircross, they scored 89% for adult occupant protection, but it ranked lower than that car because overall it scored worse, getting four your NCAP stars. Now, one of the big problems with this car was the fact that in the side pole impact test, there was a risk that its side sliding door might become loose, come off, and that means that someone inside could be flung out of the car, which obviously isn't a good thing. The Sanyon Corando is at number 11. Now, even though this car scored a full five-star rating, I ranked it lower than the VW Chiran and Alhambra because it scored slightly less for adult occupant protection. So it scored 88% which is all right actually. However, the testers did note that in the side pole impact collision, it only provided marginal protection for your chest. There's another Karen at number 10, and it's the Kia Seed. So just like the Corando, it scored 88% for adult occupant protection, but because it scored lower overall, and only got four rather than five stars, it's ranked lower in this list. Now, just like the Corando, it didn't do particularly well in the side pole impact test, and in this time, there was a lack of protection for your shoulders. In fact, Euro NCAPS testers marked the car as poor in this area. Oh dear. At number nine is the Porsche Taycan. Now overall, this is a very safe car and it scored a full five-star Euro NCAP safety rating. However, specifically in the area of adult occupant protection, it's not as good as some other cars as it only scored 85%. Now, testers said that the problem with this car was to do with its seats. So they offer marginal protection in the event of a rear end collision, which basically means you're more likely to get whiplash. The new Vauxhall Corsa, also known as the Opel Corsa, if you're European, came in at number eight. It scored 84% for adult occupant protection and overall got a four-star Euro NCAP safety rating. Now, just like the Porsche Taycan, it was criticized for the fact that its seats only offer marginal protection in a rear impact. So you're more likely to get whiplash and then you know, you're gonna be looking around for your no win, no fee lawyer, aren't you? Try and make a claim. Oh yeah, this is really bad. Yeah, really bad. I'm gonna need a lot of money for this one. At number seven is the new BMW 1 Series. Now overall, this is a very safe car and it scored a four five-star Euro NCAP safety rating. However, for adult occupant protection, it got 83%, which is less than the Corsa car. So this is where I'm ranking this list. And so it comes below the Corsa in our rating. Now, just like the Corsa and the Taycan, it was criticized for the marginal protection offered by its front seats in the event of a rear end collision. So yet again, whiplash, neck injuries, that kind of stuff. In sixth place is the Jeep Renegade. It scored 82% for adult occupant protection, which isn't that great, but it actually did even worse in the other test areas. And as a result, only scored three Euro NCAP stars overall. It was criticized for only giving you marginal neck protection in a frontal impact and marginal chest protection in a side pole impact. 
The Volkswagen Up, Seat Me, and Skoda City Go are pretty much the same cars apart from the badges on their grille. As a result, they got the exact same results in the Euro Incap crash test. That means 81% for adult occupant protection and overall the score of just three safety stars. Now they were criticized for not giving that much protection to your chest in a frontal impact. No surprise really, they are pretty small, aren't they? That said though, the testers did note that they actually protected your legs quite well. So at least that's something. The Jeep Cherokee may have four Euro NCAP safety stars, which is better than that of the Volkswagen Up. However, it comes at number four in this list because it only got 80% for adult occupant protection. Euro NCAP's testers criticize it for offering marginal protection to your chest in a side pole impact test and marginal whiplash protection in the event of a rear end collision. Now we come to the countdown of the top three least safe new cars as tested by Euro NCAP. And at number three is the little Suzuki Jimny. Yes, it may be cute, but it's not the safest car on the road. It scored 73% for adult occupant protection and only got three Euro NCAP safety stars overall. What wasn't particularly great about it was the fact that during the frontal impact test, the airbag failed to inflate with sufficient pressure. And as a result, the dummy's head actually hit the steering wheel, which is a bit worrying. What's especially worrying is that I'm actually thinking about buying a Suzuki Jimny. In fact, if you click on the pop-out banner up there, you can see the video about why I'm doing that and what I plan to do to it. I'm not so sure about it now. In second place is the Jeep Wrangler. It scored just 50% for adult occupant protection and got just one Euro NCAP safety star overall, which is a terrible result. It did particularly badly in the frontal offset collision test. Its windscreen pillars and footwells deformed so much they reached their limit of protection. Also, testers criticised the car's dashboard structure because depending on how you sit, it could pose a risk. What's particularly worrying is that this test was carried out at 40 miles an hour, which means you don't want to be going particularly quickly in a Jeep. In fact, you're better off just sticking to going off-road in it. Actually, if you click on the pop-out banner up there, you can see me off-road a Jeep Wrangler against a Mercedes-AMG G63 and a Suzuki Jimny. Finally then, we come to the dubious number one spot. The least safe new car on sale today in the UK as tested by Euro NCAP, and it is the Fiat Panda. It scored just 45% for adult occupant protection and got no Euro NCAP safety stars overall. Basically, it did badly in every single test. In a frontal impact, it provides poor protection for your chest. In a side impact, poor protection for your head and your neck. And in a rear collision, marginal protection for your neck. Generally, its safety rating is pretty crap. So if you're thinking about buying a Fiat Panda, just make sure you don't crash it. And it'll all be fine, surely. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a like as it really helps me out. Also, let me know what you think about this list in the comments below. In fact, would you let a car's safety rating determine whether you buy the car or not? Would you? Let me know. I will be checking out the comments, always do. Now, if you'd like to watch more videos, just click there. And if you'd like to download our new app, just click over there. It's completely free. You can do things like compare offers on cars. We can save an average of 3,600 pounds. Look at our different reviews and use our special car valuation tool when you can scan a car's number plate using your phone's camera and it'll tell you how much it's worth. Also, why don't you check out our new merchandise? It's in the carousel below. Various CarWow branded items. Thanks for watching.